So this is going to be good fun. So Stonewall is uh, is dying on its knees, and it's yeah. it's beautiful to see, and you'll see why. So this is the first story here. So human rights body leaves Stonewall diversity scheme. So you know these these intimidation rackets mm -hmm. where they come around and say you must give us money to say that you're an inclusive person, and if you don't, we'll denounce you as far right. So what do you do? You pay the money because you don't want to be screwed. So the Equality and Human Rights Commission says that it told Stonewall it would be leaving the Diversity Championship scheme in March. Members pay Stonewall a fee and allow it to vet their internal policies, such as who can use their toilets and changing facilities. The EHRC says it did not constitute best value for money. You absolute <laughs> cheapskate. <laughs> <laughs> that's, the, that's the only... Oh. I, just, oh. I can't get over the phrase like we pay these people to tell us who can use the bathrooms and they're not value for money. No s. <laughs> like, like, what did you think you were gonna get out of it? <laughs> but that's just such a traditional British skinflint response. Uh. Like, because really they should be addressing this on the moral standards. Like, it's it's about no. You we, actually there there are deep underlying philosophical concerns about the very nature of what you're trying to do here and why we're allowing this to go on. And we should be arguing from you know traditional. British values, or well, it's proper for this to be this and that to be that, but instead it's like, well, it's just uh, cost money. Yeah. They were never value for money. Obviously. I mean, from day one, it was not about being value for money. You know it's because of their recent turn in ideology that has made them beyond the pale for, for anyone, even even these companies who want to pretend to be woke every two seconds. So just um, some figures as well. Stonewall, for the latest figures we have from them, 2019 made £8.3 million. Pounds. It's good for some. That's the intimidation racket. Well, I tell you there. what, EHRC will vet who can use your toilets for about five million. <laughs> we'll do it. We'll give you a discount. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. go, uh, we'll go as low as four. Okay, four. <laughs> Deal. If you insist. Oh, God. Could you imagine getting paid four million just to tell people, yeah, these people can use the bathroom, these people can't? God. <laughs> like, security guards do it for what? Like, like 15 pounds an hour if they're lucky? <laughs> I, I, could, I, could, I could create an algorithm to do it. <laughs> Anyway, so we go to the next one here. This is uh, Stonewall's boss facing criticism for the new strategy. The new strategy being to say that all gays are trans and uh, starting a brave there. So she, she says in here, so Miss Kelly said, while Stonewall believed in freedom of expression, it was, quote, not without a limit. Oh, good. We've got the Soviet view on freedom of speech. <laughs> Quotes, with all beliefs, including controversial beliefs, there is a right to express those beliefs publicly and where they're harmful or damaging, whether it's anti-Semitic beliefs, gender critical beliefs, beliefs about disability, we have legal systems that are put in place to make sure people can't be harmed by that. Gender critical <sighs> beliefs. People need to be protected from gender crit critical beliefs. The state has to intervene and shut them down. Posey Parker saying women are women. I just, I, I hate, I hate the very nature that it is beliefs that can be harmful. Uh, the, the, the thing is, what annoys me the most about this is completely antithetical to the common law tradition. The common law tradition is that actions are what cause harm. It's the action, the act of the thing, the demonstrable, you know, event one to event two for circumstance two. It's, it's never about what you believe. It's just, yeah, I mean, it's, it's the whole thing of like your beliefs cause harm. I mean, the SJW is on campus saying your speech is violence. That's it. Well, it's no different to what the Chinese are saying. Well, he has the belief that Taiwan's a country. Yeah. He had the belief that the people of Hong Kong had free speech. Anyway. Quick, John Cena, get out there and deal with it. So after comparing Posey Parker and all the, the women's rights activists to anti-Semites, um, <laughs> <laughs> challenge as to whether it might be considered offensive to compare anti-Semitic beliefs to gender-critical beliefs, she insisted it was appropriate. <laughs> They're basically Nazis. <laughs> Just say it. If you think women are women, you hate the Jews. <laughs> like, <laughs> quote, we're talking about protected groups. We're talking about people that are protected on the basis of their sexuality. People that are protected on the basis of their gender identity. People who are protected on the basis of their race. And that's why they think the, the analogy is apt. I mean, just look at the language there. Protected. Protected groups. Mm, I mean, all, all I of this it. is, is anti-liberal to the core. Yeah. I mean, just you belong to this group, so you're protected in law. That's th Enjoy why, why, your class politics. Why can't we just treat them as fellow citizens? Surely that's what everyone's asking for. No. No, that, that went out the window ages ago. That's, uh, that's not what this is about. Anyway, so they say in here, journalist and former Tory MP Matthew Paris, one of Stonewall's 14 founders, recently suggested that the charity had lost its way. Oh, no kidding, Matthew. Like, just, just a little bit. 
No, no, no. This is exactly what you had oh, in mind right. when you founded it, wasn't it, Matthew? So like, for people who don't know, like Stonewall is one of these, these age-old uh, institutions in, in Britain that's been fighting for gay tolerance and gay acceptance and now for everyone being trans, including your mother. So, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's really like it went off the deep end a long time ago by the looks of it. It wasn't caring about tolerance or acceptance. You know, like you, we spoke about this before. Like, go to a pride parade in Japan. They're all wearing suits being like, tolerate me. That's exactly right. That's yeah. exactly what you want. You know, as liberals, go for it. But it's not a degenerate but, fetish parade. Not, not you know, kids seeing grown men in dog costumes. Um, and then the same thing here, where it's like this has nothing to do with tolerance or acceptance. This, this is entirely to do with uh, ideological promotion, intersectionally specifically. So if we go, if we go on to the next link here. This is uh, some other news. So ma major public sector bodies quit Stonewall diversity training as trans rights row intensifies. The Telegraph has learned that at least five other major public bodies who have quietly pulled since 2019. The scheme counts 250 government departments and public bodies among its members. They pay thousands for guidance on gender neutral spaces, pronouns, trans inclusion, and are ranked on the charity's workplace index. Nothing. I mean, just God, worthless we are, work. We are in the wrong line of employment. Like, we we could have we could have done this. And when they were like, "Well, hang on a second, uh, are you are you suggesting that actually um, people who don't agree that trans women and women are like Nazis?" We could have just said, "No, no, that's not what we're saying," and kept all of that money. Yeah, that was a great gravy they just, train that they, they were just on. kept the mouth shut. They could have kept the eight million going. I mean, God knows how much they made in 2020, 2021. I assume it's going to go down quite a bit. But they <laughs> <laughs> they think here being like two hundred and fifty government departments. This is our money, remember? Yep. This is the this is the money you pay in taxes is getting given to these hey, monsters. Hey, conservatives. Hey, conservatives. Do you remember that you're fucking conservatives? <laughs> God, I'm no, sorry. I, ha I have some good news for you in a minute. So, Shouldn't sworn. Shouldn't, sorry. As scrutiny of the program grows, last week, 850 members disappeared from public view on the website. 850. <laughs> gone. All of, the, all of those diversity champions. They're all gone. <laughs> <laughs> Just 850 diversity champions disappeared. So the House of Commons said it did not renew its membership for 2022. Finally, for Christ's sake. The Driver and Vehicle Licensing Agency, DVLA, said it expired in December, while ACAS, the Employment Distribu uh, Dispute Service, said it had withdrawn for cost reasons last June. It wasn't for cost reasons. You could have done that any time if it was cost reasons. It's not. So it's because of their insane ideology, and you should have done this a long time ago. Mm. Dorset Police, again, the police... One of the multiple forces previously listed as part of the scheme said it is not now a member. The Ministry of Housing, Communities and Local Government said it left in 2019. Meanwhile, the Crown Prosecution Service, which faced legal challenge over its trans guidance, said, quote, We are reviewing our Stonewall membership and will shortly make the decision whether or not to continue. Shouldn't be involved. No government should be involved yeah, no. in partisan campaigning here for an insane ideology. So uh, I just... N no. So the good news for you here is uh, Liz Truss. The she is good news. Based on red pill, Liz Truss saying Liz Truss urges government official withdrawal from Stonewall diversity scheme. She wants the entire government departments to all withdraw from this and stop giving them money. Because why should you? What's the argument? Sure, but why did it take eleven years of conservative government to get to this point? It's embarrassing, isn't it? Yes. But Liz Truss doing the right thing here. Her yep. and Kevin Bade not just knocking down all the nonsense left, right, and centre. I mean, it's embarrassing to see people like Boris and whatnot not quite get it. Especially when they keep saying oh, things like, there's what, nothing wrong with being woke. Oh, yeah. And what, and what, what was the other thing that um, Dominic Cummings said they were all in a faff about something because they were worried about being called racist? It's pathetic. It's like, just like, well, when will they not call you racist? They the, think the entire country's racist. They think everything about the Conservative Party is racist. Don't worry about their opinion. If, it, if it's liberal or conservative, it is racist. That's their standard. Yeah. There, there is no concern for whether or not there is any racial discrimination. It's not the game they're playing. Anyway, so Liz Truss, the Equalities Minister, is pushing for an all-government department to withdraw from the Stonewall Employment Scheme following the transgender rights route. The Times understands that responsibility for coordinating participation in the scheme rests with the Cabinet Office. The scheme counts 250 government bodies with 850 other members, blah, 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 which pay for issues on pronouns and gender-neutral spaces, something government should not be wasting our money on. No. The, the Cabinet Office there being the ones who make the decision, so it's got to be the Cabinet that make that decision there. Uh, make the right one. Make the right one and stop funding this. There is no reason to be involved in this sort of thing. Any any woke stuff, any Islamic stuff, any Christian stuff, any Jewish stuff, any based and red pilled stuff. You know, just just don't fund any of it. The government shouldn't be funding it, funding any of this stuff at all in any circumstance. I mean, the worst example be here being the police. I mean, meant oh, yeah. to be a God, a, a nonpartisan organization to the root, and instead it is extremely partisan. I mean, just openly giving money to this insane organization here. I, I just love this likening gender critical beliefs to antisemitism. Look, if if you're not pro trans, you're a Nazi. Yeah, right. That's their viewpoint. So, 
So if we go to the next one here, so this is just some of the things that Stonewall has done recently that are insane. So this is from Fair Play for Women, so a turf group. Stonewall advice cost the ONS over 100 grand in legal bills and damaged the census. Why are public bodies everywhere near them, let alone paying for the privilege? So this is Great the question. fact that there was the census and it was about whether or not, what was it? The, the, the question was, do you identify your gender or was it meant to be sex? And there was a huge debate yeah. as the census came up and then they changed their minds halfway through doing it. So it kind of ruined the whole thing there. Yeah. So because you had so many nonsense responses. So that but luckily this only affects about 1% of the population. So Yeah, but the entire census section for that is now just worthless because half of them will have one answer and half of them will have another answer for different questions. Yeah. So thanks. Thanks, Stonewall. Thanks, uh, thanks for doing good there, costing everyone 100 grand for a pointless argument about pushing transgenderism in the census instead of just trying to find out the sex of the individuals in the census, which would be far more useful. I mean, you can have both questions if you want, but no, they, they wanted it to be one, not the other. Disgusting. Mm. The next one here is uh, police forces. So uh, fair play for women sending messages to every police force in Britain saying uh, if there was a male person who identified as female and you arrested them for raping a female, what would you put them down as on the card? How on earth has it come to this? So if you scroll back up, police forces... So means back up. Police forces admitting that they would record a male rapist as female if that's how they self-identify. Now, as you can see here, Thames Valley Police responding, in this scenario, a male-born person self-identifying as a female should be recorded as a female on our source system. Oh, God, I hate Thames this Valley so Police. much. So, okay, th this, I, th 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 right, so, God, you know, God, God, God bless our, our police up and down the country, um, but you're you're not academics, and that really shows when you get into things like this. You can't self-identify as a female; you self-identify as a woman, because female is not a gender role; it's a description of a biological category. You can't change from being male to female; you can change from being man to woman by intersectional logic, by their own standards. They accept at least that that is still something that's not actually physically possible. Although I'm sure they're going to try and work on that. But you, you should never have accepted the framing of this. You can't have a male-born person self-identify as a female, but they can become a woman, according to trans logic. God damn it. Yeah, and these, the, all of these police forces being lectured by Stonewall, you saw a couple of them breaking ties. All of them should break ties. None yes. of them should have had anything Obviously. to do with them. So if we go to the next one here, this is just them saying that they wrote to every police force. These aren't one-offs. We asked every police force in the UK. 16 responded, all saying that they would record male crime as female, and it's what the perpetrator wanted. God, I mean, imagine that. Oh, like, victim he, rights. If um, the rapist sorry. wants it, like, yeah. God. But they, they post the evidence, I'm not going through it all, but they post all of the responses they got, and all of them, yeah, I was like, yes, we would record the male rapist as a woman because it's what he would have wanted. Oh, no, no, that's fine. That's fine. I, I, well, I, oh. that's fine. Uh, but, you know, my, my low standards here. Uh, you know, yeah, <laughs> look yeah. what they've done to us. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, look what we're accepting at this point. Yeah, look at what we're, exactly, right? The slippery slope is real. In fact, I'll do a video about that at some point. Um, but th that's the thing. You... Record them as woman if you have to, but don't record them as female because it's just not, just not true. And it will never be true. And they admit that it will never be true. But even then, don't record them as a woman. Obviously. Just put it down as a man, for Christ's don't sake. Die. And put them in the right prison. <laughs> Otherwise, they'll rape the inmates, as has already happened. Anyway, so we go to the next one here. So this is them posting that when it comes to male crimes, small misclarification errors make a huge difference. Today, at least two-thirds of the female sex offenders in prison were born male. Wow. Sorry. Why? At least, is that, is at least that a real? third, not two thirds. So one third of all female sex offenders are men. That's <laughs> 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 just, just such a joke. The misogyny lobby is doing great guns these days, though, aren't they? You know, a third of all female sex offenders are men. What? A, what a statistic! What a statistic. Presumably not a problem they have in China, incidentally. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Stonewall. Yeah. So we've got the next one here. So they also say about here, I mean, just look at the amount of people they have endorsing them. So why are the police recording male rapists as female? Who would have suggested this mad idea? Take a look at all the police forces who are in Stonewall's champions. And then they but, list all the yeah. police forces that are champions for Stonewall. And it's, yeah, all of them. So what are you expecting? So we go to the next one here. This is just Ho's Mad. The Ho Mad in this, in this instance. Ah, Owen Jones. Ah. The hounding of Stonewall by the same media outlets that poured bile and hatred on gay people for decades is grotesque. Those who hound, hound trans people today, all history will ever remember you for, is as hateful persecutors of a marginalised minority. That's your only contribution. I'll oh, cry harder, Owen. 
Cry harder. Oh my god. I still love just the marginalized minority here being trans activists, not trans people, because most trans people don't buy into any of the crap. So if we go to the next one here. Owen just... Jones is furiously dilating as he types that. So the next link is uh, a response to this, in which they're just like, yeah, marginalized. And then there's just a yeah. video of them scrolling through the diversity champions. Yeah. Uh, it's just a miles long list of every police force, emergency service. Or university. I mean, if you can think of it, they've signed up to this. I'm not allowed to speak at any of these organisations. That's that's what marginalised looks like. I'm not allowed to speak to any of these organisations. You can, Owen. So can all your communist friends. Yeah. That's you get more. paid. You get paid to do it. Like, they can all go, but they're the marginalised ones. I mean, every you single... what mar marginalisation looks like. Yeah, this is what real <laughs> marginalisation looks like. I mean, look at it. It just keeps going. It really it does. God. Oh, God. It's It's unbelievable. I mean, just every company you can think of, every organization you can what think of. What hasn't signed on to this? Zurich Insurance there. But what yeah. hasn't signed on? That'd be a much shorter list, surely. <laughs> Us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Local governments. Local I mean, councils. Every council. Oh every God. council you can think of is on there. I mean, your council, wherever you live. And of course, the there. BBC. Sky Absolutely. News, ITV. Yeah. Of course they have. Yep. It's just like this Cir is Circo. wild. God, this Circo. Is. <laughs> <laughs> you have a circle on that. I, I'm really curious if, like, uh, you know, the military industrial complex, oh, GlaxoSmithKline, yeah, of course they have. Oh, of course, all the sports have. Well, yeah. MI5 are. MI6 are on there. Of course they so, have. There we go. Of course. Probably running the bloody thing. The Royal British <laughs> Legion. Oh, God. Virgin Holidays, that, Uber. That Transport is for mad. London. I, uh, Thomas Cook Group, Rail Network, Skyscanner. I mean, uh, entertainment. in their defense, this is the second most effective grift I've ever seen. I know, right? So it's slightly behind Black Lives Matter. But if they just kept their mouth shut and not accused all the turfs of being anti-Semites, they could have kept it going. <laughs> but, but now it's dying. So, I mean, that's that's a good victory. That's a good one to see that a incredibly radical organization that is pushing wokest nonsense deserves to die on its knees. And it is dying on its knees. And I forgot to put my uh, earpiece in. But it's, it's also just... I, I, I like to see that this is a nice turning point. Mm -hmm. So you can see, I mean, for all the S we give the government, um, I, I mean, you're getting mad there. As, as a great example um they do have some good points on this at times i mean liz truss being the bastion of sanity within the government yeah on this all on this whole stuff well liz liz truss is pretty much the only one i trust with anything these days her and kemi badenock i yeah. mean i mean just joint prime ministership forever yeah like lord protector of britain please <laughs> anyway that's all if you enjoyed this segment from the podcast of the lotus eaters you can watch the full broadcast live every weekday at 1 p.m uk time on lotuseaters.com